Welcome, welcome. Uh, Wednesdays, uh, twice, um, we talk women issues, issues related to women across the world, in our communities. It is the glass ceiling. Women who are doing great in business, great in, um, you know, the um, corporate world, um, women who are innovative, women who are in science. We talk about anything that relates to women. And today we want to talk about women in business and not just about the business angle, but we're talking about the harassments that women face while they're doing their businesses. And this is not just talking about middle class business or high class business. I'm talking about the woman who's got a petty trade business just around the corner. The lady who's selling plantain um, just around the junction. The woman who has a kiosk down your street and sells a little badesh. I'm looking for, what's the word they call the little gogoros and the things that they mix in those bottles? And I see a lot of men, you know, gather around those women and then, you know, get to drink it. I don't know what it's called, but yeah. Those women. Or the women who sell food in tiny bookers or even carry it on their head. The women who deliver food, the women who go to people's houses to cook, the women who um, sell clothes, the women who sell hair, the women who, I mean, whatever business it is that you find yourself doing and that you have to most times maybe deliver, you have to engage with people, especially men. How do you deal with the harassments that more than maybe almost often comes along with doing business. Some people say it comes with the territory. Some other people say, well, uh, you know, some of the ills of doing business, you've got to deal with it. And you might ask exactly why I'm having this conversation. It's because it's the glass ceiling. And it's because also recently a lady posted on social media about um, an exchange that she had with a guy on this same issue. Well, apparently in her case, she sells food. So people order from her and then, you know, she sends, of course, she can't go everywhere to deliver. So she sends a delivery person to deliver, just like we do with all the food delivery services. But I'm going to go through her message, you know, uh, and then, of course, we'll start there as a basis for our conversation. So are we, are we all ready? Okay, great. Um, so this lady here on Twitter, her name's Chiamaka. She's a food vendor. She said, so I'm a young girl that's into food business. Um, should I go and deliver it myself? Um, the way ladies are being sexualized in this country, she says, eh, homo. See how this man insulted me because his food was delivered via dispatch and not by me. And she posts the man's message. The person said, and she said, hello, sir. Have you received your order? Thank you for your patronage. Enjoy your meal. So I said, you know, you're a very stupid girl. That's his response. And she said, sorry, why will you deliver my soup via dispatch? Or you think I ordered it because I don't know what to do with my money? Five liters of soup and you cannot deliver it and spend time with me uh, on the line. Spend time with me. Who does that? The man says. And she responded, sir. We only deliver via dispatch. I don't sell I don't sell or do one on one delivery, sir. The man said, Will you shut up? You don't know you don't know I wanted to see you. All my follow up, you think it's soup I'm following up for. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to laugh. Um and then she goes on to respond, I'm sorry, sir, but I don't do it do it in person deliveries. He said, If you call me sir again and then he put an angry face to it. She said, you can still open a big shop for me, sir, if you really want to. Um, he now said, come and take your soup. I'm not buying again. She said, sorry, sir, we have a no refund policy. He said, come and take it and don't worry about the money. And she re responded, sir, I've been trying to be as polite as possible. I will stop responding to your messages with all due respect. And he said, get away, dirty girl, blocked. Wow. So... Um, <laughs> I must tell you guys that very recently I realized what hookups meant. I didn't realize. I'm a little bit old school. Yeah. I didn't realize that hookup was a thing. So I hear that people tell you, oh, I come, I wash clothes. I deliver food. I cook. I clean. And I also give other services. And I, 
I'm, I kid you not, I never knew about it. Maybe because I'm a lady and, you know, I don't run in those circles, so I don't know. But a few colleagues and friends and even neighbours have told me that, oh, yeah, yeah, that's what these girls do. Some of them have, they tell you that they do this and that and then what they're doing on the other, the other services is that they want to service you and it's a hookup and you pay by the hour. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, that's prostitution. It's not, <laughs> don't try to give it a good name. But so maybe... This is what this client was expecting when he ordered food from this lady. And, and she does look like a gorgeous young lady. And so he got me to think that, really, is this what the world has turned into? Or has it always been there? But social media is making it a bit more obvious. And so I want to talk to my women who are in business. Whether you're a young lady, you're an older lady, and you've been in the business for a long time. How do you handle this harassment, this unwanted attention, this thing that people do because you're a lady and they think that, I mean, I'll tell you a few of mine. It's just that I'm, I might not be able to name names because of what I do for a living. But you know what I mean? The moment you're a woman and you're doing a business, especially for the you that is selling in the market, you that is selling small kiosk, you that is hawking something, how do you deal because I hear that sometimes for those who carry the, their wares from place to place, sometimes they just don't want to buy. They just want to harass you. They want to, they want to proposition you. I hear that all the time. In some cases, you're, you're even raped. But let's talk about it. How do you deal as a woman in business with harassment from the opposite sex? How do you stay professional and also firm while you're at it. Because it looks like it's a dog it dog world out there. It's a very hard knock life for the women who are doing business, who are trying to earn an honest living. I'm not talking about the ones that are doing hookup in the name of I wash and clean. Uh -uh. I'm talking about legit businesses. No matter how small, no matter how big or even medium. The phone lines are open. I laid the basis for this conversation. Let's talk woman to woman. Welcome to the glass ceiling. 0201-465-7190. That's 0201-465-7190. Now, if you are also a man who's married or in a relationship with a woman who is in business, are you able to deal with the harassments that come their way? Does it cause a friction in the relationship or are you more of a protector of these women? So... And have you been able to come to their aid? And if you have a sister or a mother or a woman that you know that's in business, how have you been able to help them, to protect them from some of these darts and daggers that come in their direction? 0201-465-7190. We're live, facebook.com forward slash Nigeria Info. We're also live on YouTube. Share your thoughts with us no matter where you are watching us from. Hello. Welcome to the glass ceiling. Uh, uh, you're not a woman now. Yeah, I want to share a particular story. All right, go one ahead. That actually happened to my girlfriend. Like, this one, she cooked very well. Uh-huh. As in, this, this one, this thing you shared now is quite just, it, it's almost, almost just exactly like what happened to her. That day, I really caught that guy. So what happened was that my girlfriend is a cook. She cooks also. Mm -hmm. So she does this online cooking. So this particular guy on her food. And then she told me that, ah, somebody ordered this food. Uh, the guy ordered this last one to see. Like, the guy wanted the food to be in, uh, in the freezer for a week or something. So she, she prepared the meal. She sent it to the guy. So when she sent it to the guy, the guy was not like that. Um, he was expecting. In fact, this one came clean. At some point, she, when they had the back and forth, the conversation you were reading on WhatsApp was just almost like the same thing. Hmm. Because she was telling the guy that she does not. Uh, I was even there when they were chatting that she does not come to deliver in, uh, in person, that she sends delivery. The guy was not like, that he doesn't want the food. That's actually her, uh, she, she he, he wants. So the conversation ended there, and then they had the back and forth, and all that, all that. So the guy now ordered food again the next week, hoping that she must have had a change of mind. So when she wanted to deliver, she called the guy that, I can't come in person, no. Should I still send this food? The guy was like, if, she, if she's not going to send, if she's not going to bring the food by herself, she should not bother 
um, like bringing the food. So, so what, but, like, but but if she comes happened? with the food, does it make the food sweeter? I don't understand. No, apparently he doesn't want the food. He wants her. He doesn't want the food. It's, it's my my baby. He actually wants. Ah. So I, I was not like. So what do you do now? So the guy now said that if he if she's not going to bring the food by herself, that she should not bother bringing the food. So he was thinking that he was going to use that one to stop her because he has paid in full. He paid, he paid everything in full. Uh, he paid everything. Hmm. He paid in full. But I also, my baby, Bomo, I go, I go, I got my guys. We chop the food. We down the food. Every, we, we finish the food. <laughs> and, I, and I took the food. I took his number and I called him. I called him. So at the end of the day, we started um, exchanging words on phone. And so he blocked my he blocked my this number, I blocked the number he didn't call him. So but me I chopped the food. I called my guys, we finished the food, we finished the food, both the money and the food, everything. So they are like that. They are many if I when you were just reading the water passage, I said, Let me just this is my first time I'm calling you, but I said wow. let me just call because this one happened it happened to my pig, like wow. in my presence I was there. But at least I didn't care. Well at least you, you protected her. Thank you very much. And she was not desperate enough because you know some people that might just be the only order for the day. What does she do? Because she has suffered and cooked the food. Hello. Hello. Hi, Marian. Hi, Mrs. Oboli. Nothing where Musa no go see for gate. <laughs> <laughs> Women don't suffer. Mm. Hey. See, I was about asking you if this really happened. But this guy's narration really buttresses the fact that this happened. Mm -hmm. God go help us women. No. Okay, you were asking if... Um, things like this, if we witness it in our daily activities, yeah, if, if people make something. passes at you while they're trying okay. to, you know, do Maria, business you know, with you. injection at the shook at the same medicine. Mm. So, in the course of my having to deal with my patients, mm. there's this maybe because of the way I am, you know, you know, playful and everything. Mm. So, I find even my patients don't give you that um, aura. To say you want to chike me or something. Mm. What I have with you, I, I they see different, different bomb bomb every day. Oh gosh, married though. It's, it's yes, daytime now. radio, darling. Can we not talk okay. about that? Okay, whatever it is. So <laughs> I just do my job, and that is it. You get. Mm. And so some people, in the course of our discussion, they feel, like, "Ah, madam, you are sweet. You are this. You are that." And I, I am married. You it's mean. boldly written. Do you know, even in the banking sector, women are exploited like this as well. Mm. They'll be like, if you don't give a target, you can't work with us. They sack them. They just tell them, they lay them off and everything. So it is happening. So now we can't enter trouble. That's just the truth. Mm -hmm. Because we give our very best, we want to belong in that sector, we want to belong, you know, our voices, we want, them, we want people to hear our voices, we want to contribute or donate our quota. She don't make us, oh my goodness, she don't make us less, human we want to come we're not competing with the men but just give us a voice you know let's render services mm. without being harassed sexually or in any other wise this is so wrong this is in fact if i see that man i will sue him if not me <laughs> oh my goodness enough is enough i think thank you very much for calling mrs aboli i do appreciate it hello welcome to hard facts hello Maria. hello uh, Makazuma. uh hey we want to hear your ah! own Let's hear your own. Mm -hmm. ah, this, ah, not be all men, shall No, say we have responsible men. Absolutely. Hmm. Oh, my God. The thing is just too much. Eh? You go by market. You don't go face market when you come back. <laughs> hey. Now, that's the wife. Now, you walk, you walk, car. even though when they say you go say it no matter. Uh -uh. You too. You get wife for house. Uh -uh. They all go see it's not me. Uh, you, uh, you know they go to church, you go say yes now. Nah. You first they go to church, you know we enjoy your life. Uh, and so uh, this rubbish, now nah, be enjoyment. If mm. this one have uh, enjoyment, me and not grill. Oh. See, it's just too much. Too mm. much. Mm. And most of the people that do this thing, it's big, big men, oh. I'm telling you, big, big men wow. that do it. Thank wow. you. Thank you very much for calling. I, I, thought, I want you guys to share your experiences with me. How do you deal with it? I'm mostly interested in how you deal with it. How you, Because again, most people will say in dealing with it, you're going to have to make a choice. It's either you're going to lose a customer forever or you're going to have to smile through it and you know keep the customer. So, But, but what do you do? Because whether we like it or not, it's like you're in, a, in between a rock and a hard place. You've got to make a decision. And half the time, they'd, they'd like to prey on you because, and what they do is because they've got loads of money. For example, in that girl's case, they, he bought a lot of food. 
and he's rude to her because he spent so much money hoping that he'd be able to lure her in because he spent so much money. And I, I've seen it happen in a shop and a, a girl who sells clothes and the guy spent so much because he was trying to get her attention and hope that, you know, he could get her number or do whatever he wanted to do with her. But she was not interested. And he was like, OK, so I spent all this money for nothing. Then I could drop everything and get my money back. And she's like, oh, sorry, um, you paid already. But what is what is, in a case where he's not paid yet? And that's the only sale you've made for that day. How do you even deal? I'd like to hear 020-1465-7190. We're talking about women in business here and how they deal with the harassments, the daily harassments on, on a daily basis while they're doing their businesses. Hello. Hello. Hello, Miriam. Yes. Good afternoon. You're not a woman, but uh, what do you want? <laughs> I want to really have my saying what you are saying. Mm. This harassment is everywhere, not even only people. Hey, don't come and tell me about men. Who I want to hear women and how you protect them. And I'm, now, women, I want to talk to. Mm. There was even my sister that was looking for a job. That was the day she started crying. What happened? He said she's tired. Everyone that wants to give her a job wants to sleep with her force. <laughs> and I told her a fact that I will tell you. Although, you women don't want to hear the fact. The fact is, this last day, there is too much of women flesh marketing. Please, Google the country that promotes porn, which is Bluefin, in the whole world. You will see Nigeria number one. So please, let's talk to our agenda too. Because it's affecting the real women, the women with potential, the women with pride, those ones, those loose ones, they are affecting the real women that want to work. There is too much of women or ladies flesh marketing everywhere. And the message they are passing to those idiots, those irres, those Kalakuta men, the message they are passing to them is that women are just a, a product of sex. So let's talk to the, those women that are making, I don't know what to talk, Sha, but you have got to understand my point. Yes, Lumia, thank you very much for calling. I'm, so, I'm sure you're talking about the fact that some people in the women folk have successfully helped and aided in overly sexualizing the women folk and objectified themselves so much that every man that meets a woman is hoping that we can be the hookup queens, we can be open to whatever it is that they want us to be open to. And you're saying that that's part of the problem. We're going to take a break, bring you some messages. When we come back from that break, it's still the glass ceiling. We're talking about women in business and how they handle harassment, all the harassments they face and how they're dealing with it. And of course, the game has not changed at all. One play is still giving up money to the tune of 150,000 Naira daily. All you have had to do, all you still have to do is go to www.oneplay.ng or dial the code star 347 star 880 star 3 hash from your phone with as little as 500 Naira. And in a few seconds, your ticket will be in the drawers, qualifying you as one of the people who could win money for the day now the more you play the better your chances of winning every day on the morning crossfire what's up lagos and game on all on weekdays and of course football frenzy on weekends you can be a winner every day that is not all on fridays there will be a 500,000 naira jackpot can you beat that ladies and gentlemen playing during the week qualifies you to be in the weekly jackpot now your chances of winning are pretty much the same whether you play on www one play dot ng or dial star three four seven star eight eight zero star three hash remember to play responsibly and make sure that you're above the age of 18 while playing one play is a registered trademark under lasher trading services limited licensed by the lagos state lotteries and gaming commission this is an infomercial, an infomercial. Breaking news, updates, and the best talk. We're not supposed to even strive as hard for them to get things that just come so naturally to a lot of men who feel that leadership is their right. We're in prisons for how many years? For six years, eight months. Were you going to court from prisons then? Yes, but before I started court, it, was, it took me two years. Just being in prison? Yes. Without your case even start in at all? confinement. You, you were there? Yeah. Here on your number one station for talk, 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We'll be right back. Holy month. 
is here. A time for spiritual reflection, a period of self-improvement, an opportunity for complete devotion and worship. Nigeria Info brings you The Light, a daily program that features teachings of Islam, answers to questions about certain practices in the religion, and, and loads and loads of giveaways. The Light, sponsored by Lotus Bank and Maggie on Nigeria Info, comes up daily at 4 a.m. in the month of Ramadan. For sponsorship and gift donation, please call 0805-581-5844. That is 0805-581-5844. Or send an email to info at nigeriainfo.fm. The Light, brought to you by Lotus Bank and Maggie. Ramadan Mubarak. It's Ramadan. Come on board. Let's go on a tour to the top restaurants where you can enjoy the best of the season. First stop is Charity Cafe. Here, the currency is sharing, so keep giving. Next stop is Kindness Bistro. Be the kindest you can be. Last but not the least, make a stop by at Forgiveness drive through and let go of every beef. And that's Zahor and Ifta. Bring it home with the goodness of great tasting meals with Noor. This Ramadan, don't just eat for good. Share the good and be the good. Noor, eat for good. It's like every other year, my wife has to paint, and her own kind of budget just makes me want to faint. Is it cookies or paper? I think it makes sense. I'm only dropping cheddar if it's using Santex. Santex? Yes, Santex. The amazing durability is more than mere text. Rich quality paint within your budget. So make the smart choice. Paint with Santex. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. With a smart choice. Smart choice. Santex paint. Santex paint. Smart choice. Smart choice. Paint your dreams on the walls of your reality. Choose Santex paint for its rich quality. Quality, vibrant colors and long-lasting coats. Available at authorized Santex Paint distributors across Nigeria. Santex Paint, a smart choice. I remember being screamed at. The customer was not going to pay for the Bantu knots. But giving up was not an option then. And it isn't now. Not even fear can stop me. Be fearless. Be beautiful with Lush Hair. Lush Hair. Be beautiful. For how much? That's how you react when you see really high prices for rides. But there's no reason to worry because with InDrive, you can always offer a fair deal and not just hope for it. Use InDrive and negotiate for the most fair price for you. InDrive. People driven. The InDrive Online Passenger Transportation Aggregator is not a taxi service. Find more information at www.indrive.com. Compress natural gas. Eh? Now the fuel is oh, yeah. better for your car, better for your pocket, yo. mm. and your environment. Yeah. Yeah. Better. better energy for car yeah. owners. Yeah. Obong yeah. get fuel for transporters. Yeah. My people, renewed hope, don't they shell it. Compress natural gas, CNG, na the way. This one not be for cooking, oh. No. Now to put for your car, it is cheaper than petrol and diesel. It they burn clean and run smooth. You know they contaminate in the oil with yama yama, like like with CNG as well. Your motor go bad worms. Your bucket go like car. Your environment self go enjoy em. So therefore, forward march go any certified conversion centers where near you for Lagos, Abuja, Ogun, Kaduna, Rivers, etc. etc. Go convert your vehicle to use compressed natural gas, CNG. Now, now, now. CNG, cheaper fuel for better living. Some call it a disorder, a disability. Having a skin with two distinct colors may seem to others like the end of the world. Not me. I'm a babe, a speck, a 10 out of 10. The unstoppable, the beautiful with lush hair. Lush hair. Be beautiful. 
Activate Grace Conference 2024. Come and be blessed by the ministry of our lead pastor, Benga Ajibola, and a guest minister, Apostle Arome Osai. Spirit uplifting worship featuring Mag Psalms and Marvid. Venue, FM Event Center, 19 Joel Ogunaiki Street, Ikeja, GRA, 7th April, 2024, 9 a.m. Morning Session, 5 p.m. Evening Session. Come ready to activate grace. Does your child dream of becoming a football champion? Then here is your chance to ignite his or her passion at the 10th edition of the Green Springs Canoe Football Camp, where your child will be trained like a pro by top European coaches and be inspired by the legendary Kanu Wanko. Watch your child hone his or her skills, build confidence, and learn advanced football tactics. At the end of the camp, one exceptional player gets a full scholarship into Green Springs School. Don't miss out on this exciting opportunity to make your child's football dream reality. The camp will take place from the 7th to the 12th of April 2024 at the Green Spring School Lekki Campus in Lagos. Register now via www.greenspringsschool.com or call 0817-540-1881 0817-540-1881 to learn more. Two things you can't have it all with one play. I got that defined boys. You have just won yourself. <laughs> Hello, good morning. Yes, Melitus. My one player don't talk to two players because he won 20k. <laughs> yes, so now you won yourself 20,000 naira. My name is well done. Okay, well done. We want to tell you well done. You won yourself 20,000 naira. With 500 naira, you can play to win big. From 120,000 naira to 190,000 naira daily on Nigeria Info. Go to oneplay.ng and play with 500 naira. And in a few seconds, your ticket is in the draw. Or dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Win daily on Nigeria Info. 50,000 naira on Morning Crossfire. 60,000 naira on WhatsApp Lagos. 20,000 naira on Sunny Side. And 60,000 naira on Game On. So, Lagos, what are you waiting for? The more you play, the better your chances of winning. Remember to dial star 347 star 880 star 3 hash. Play responsibly, not suitable for persons under the age of 18. Did you know that fostering gender equality in Nigeria? Nigeria could boost the GDP by $129 billion by 2025. Join host Abosede George Ogan as we discuss the topic equity in governance. Featuring esteemed guest Nafisa Atikwa Dejumo, Program Officer Shehu Musa Yaradua Foundation, Honorable Sheye Adisa, former member of the Oyo State House of Assembly from 2019 to 2023, and Kole Lawao, Executive Director of Electoral College Nigeria. Together, let's shape a society where opportunities are abundant and benefits are equitably distributed. Tune in on Sunday, 6.30 p.m. on Channels Television, DSTV Channel 420, on GoTV Channel 48, or on YouTube at Will & Global. The leading woman show is supported by the National Endowment for Democracy and Luminate. Attention drivers in Lagos, are you ready for rewards? InDrive is giving out 10,000 air fuel vouchers to 1,200 new drivers. Download the InDrive app, sign up to drive, and take 25 rides in the following two weeks before May 25th. The start date is counted as the moment driver registers and there is only one price per person. The InDrive online passenger transportation aggregator is not a taxi service. Find more information at www.indrive.com. Madam, you don't try this new lush hair for you want no lie relax circuit we get free neutralizing shampoo and conditioner joint what me i know deal uh, you're not even sabi waiting the apple for town you see this lush hair relaxer so you know they pepe you know they want it will even make your hair shine like oil that's so lush hair relaxer kit not correct we're not gonna make your hair cut uh -huh. we're not gonna make your hair dry uh -huh. you know they pepe uh -huh. and they relax hair well well <laughs> she can make it uh -huh. up by your honor lush hair be beautiful Time for spiritual reflection, a period of self-improvement, an opportunity for complete devotion and worship. 
Nigeria Info brings you The Light, a daily program that features teachings of Islam, answers to questions about certain practices in the religion, and, and loads and loads of giveaways. The Light, sponsored by Lotus Bank and Maggie on Nigeria Info, comes up daily at 4 a.m. in the month of Ramadan. For sponsorship and gift donation, please call 0805-581-5844. That is 0805-581-5844. Or send an email to info at nigeriainfo.fm. The Light, brought to you by Lotus Bank and Maggie. Ramadan Mubarak. <laughs> Every day when my children return from school, I don't recognize them. Hello? Do I know you? <laughs> Keep us, mommy. But these dirty, sweaty uniforms and socks were clean in the morning. Everything don't transform. I understand, though. School is hectic. It takes energy to come home this transformed. So I make sure they have some nutritious Milo at breakfast. Your kids need nourishing energy. Give them the new and improved Milo at breakfast. It has nutrients that support energy release to help them get the most out of their day. Milo, energy to go further. Papa Lamla, good morning, no. Good morning, sir. Ah, uh, uh, Mama T, Fifi, mm. you're visiting us today? Yes, yes sir. Uh, Fifi needs to braid her hair, and you know, no one does it better than Janet. <laughs> She's inside, but mm -hmm. Janet is not feeling well right now. She has tetanus infection, and the very painful part is the doctor said it could have been avoided if she had received her booster vaccines on time. That's very true. There is even HPV vaccine for girls of her age between 9 to 14 years old. Uncle Lamlon, even you, there are vaccines for adults like COVID, hepatitis, yellow fever. It's okay, that's enough. Hey, but Baba Landlord, she's right. You should not play with vaccinations. It is very risky not to be taking vaccines and boosters, especially for you who is diabetic, or Janet, who is a young girl. Follow who no road, All vaccines are safe for both children and adults. Visit a health facility to find out which vaccines you need, or call 7722 for more information. Are you ready to elevate your Ramadan experience? Well, brace yourselves because Electromat has an irresistible offer just for you. From March 15th to April 20th, Electromat is here to make your Ramadan preparations a breeze. Buy any home appliances and receive instant gift, rice, oil, semolina, noodles, seasonings, and much more. Ready to take advantage of this amazing offer? Visit the nearest Electromat store or head to our website on www.electromat.com.ng now and start shopping. Stay tuned for more exciting offers only from Electromat, your world of electronic terms and conditions supplies. It's like every other year, my wife wants to paint, and her own kind of budget just makes me want to faint. 50 buckets of paper. I'm just thinking it makes sense. I'm only dropping cheddar if it's using Santex. Santex? Yes, Santex. The amazing durability is more than mere text. Rich quality paint within your budget. So make the smart choice. Paint with Santex. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. With a smart choice. Smart choice. Santex paint. Smart choice. Paint your dreams on the walls of your reality. Choose Santex paint for its rich quality vibrant colors and long-lasting coats available at authorized santex paint distributors across nigeria santex paint the smart choice hmm. anywhere clara enter like this people must give her compliment hmm, clara. <laughs> this you say it makes sense so <laughs> now because i they use wazobia anywhere johnny enters her people must come out cap for him <laughs> Johnny. Ah, ah. As you enter like this, eh? Everywhere job begins to smell nice. Which kind of perfume you they use? <laughs> now, Wazobia perfume, oh. Eh? Yes, sir. Wazobia, now the correct scent. We get quality. It they last long. And it they give man and woman confidence. Any day, anywhere. For authentic scent, we they indigenous. Make you choose Wazobia. It is available in perfume and body spray. You pick it up for stores, supermarkets, and open markets. It also they available on top Jumia. Remember, no be only how you take dress. Now also how you take smell. Wazobia. Correct scent for correct people. You are listening to your number one station for talk. Your number one station for talk. 99.3 Nigeria Info. Let's talk. Journalism.
bridging the gap between people and, and those in authority. With hard facts, you are sure to get only the facts. Tune in to Hard Facts with Miriam Okun on Mighty Nine Point Three Nigeria Info. This is the glass ceiling, glass ceiling. on Hard Facts. Hard facts. And yes, we're back. It's still the glass ceiling. 99.3 Nigeria Info. 42 minutes gone past 4 o'clock. When we're talking women issues on the show today, on the glass ceiling, we'll focus on women-related issues. And today we're talking about women in business. Um, and we're not just talking about women in business and how they do business. We're talking about the harassments that these women who do business, and whatever business, the nature of the business is, how they deal with the harassments that come with the terrain of doing business and I mean any business I mean the woman who sells in the market we heard market woman when she was telling us about her situation and I did tell you a story of a lady who posted on social media her com conversation with a, a, a male customer and how he really expected that because she was coming to um, deliver food that she'd also be open to whatever nonsense that he'd be open to and we've also heard from Mrs. Oboli uh, who's you know Who's, who runs a pharmacy and half the time the male clientele is like oh okay you're a sweet lady you sure you're not gonna be open to other things but how do you deal with the harassment and stay professional and also not lose customers because whether you like it or not at some point you might lose customers um depending on how you deal with the situation i want to hear your stories and for the men who are in these women's lives whether it's your mum whether it's your girlfriend your wife your partner how do you how do you deal with it when they come to you with these problems? Um, does it cause a little bit of friction in the relationship or are you more of a protector than an attacker? I'd like to hear from you also. 0700-993, oh, sorry, 0201-465-7190. That's 0201-465-7190. I'd like to hear from you, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, welcome to the glass ceiling. Oh, apologies, do call me back if that was you. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, good afternoon. Um, palliative. <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> Make I diss you like a ziggy. Okay. Mm, I think um, the best way as women can handle it is um, fixing yourself in that position of that lady, like either your wife or girlfriend who is passing through such challenges. Um, somebody said something, and that was when I was trying to clinch to the interest of listening to this program. Um, such practices was very, very common amongst the people that I used to stay with in my former uh, place of business, mm -hmm. in, a very particular, in a very particular warehouse. Mm. You will see men who would, who would want to explore or exploit on a particular girl that is new, maybe a food vendor. Mm. By the time you see this beautiful girl, everybody would want to eat her food, mm. you understand? Mm. And if maybe the girl happens to be the kind of person they are looking for, at the end of the day, you will see that all of them had gone senses on that girl and everybody will start, everybody will start saying, ah, I've gone, I've gone, and at the end of the day, out of shame, they will force this girl out of business and that will be the game. But what happens, you know, they say, he who pays others with pebbles must ask of stone in return. And then um, anything you do, they say nemesis must always locate the person. Mm. If um, maybe I was such a person, it, it would have happened to me. Because my wife happened to work in financial institutions. So one mm. day she was asking me, what about that place, your warehouse you used to do business? Can't you introduce me to that place so that by the day we do storm, I will go there and generate from my account for my mm. institution. I gave her the, my warehouse address and she went to that place. By the time she went there, me, uh, me and my sister, do you know that almost every guy in that particular line of mine wanted to open an account for my wife? But the funny thing is there happened to be that my elder brother's wife, who also does business in that place, was with her. Then, at the end of the day, everybody who wanted to open an account with her, by the time most of them had that, ah, 
she's Victor's wife. Only genuine people opened accounts with her. Then mm. the rest who always exploit. Because if I tell you what this guy speaks for women in that particular place, you will mm. cry for some ladies. Wow. But just because I trust my wife. And that was the reason I allow her to uh, be on that job. And I give her the courage she needs. At the end of the day, too many of them who eventually realize that that is uh, Don Vic's wife. Oh, Don Vic's wife. Well, no problem. I have the account. Uh, baby, I beg no best. Next time we'll talk. That was how some of them resented opening the account. But the genuine ones, uh, when they hear, oh, Don Vic's wife, oh, I want to open, she shared the account opening packages and most of them opened. So we guys will must always have that liberal mindset in order to help our ladies, our wives. Mm. Okay. Because um, All right. other men who are not upright will always exploit on those challenges to do what All right. is not right. All Thank right. you very much. Thank you very much, Virgin Man, for calling. Let me read some of the messages that are coming in. Someone says, well done. Um, it is clear that there are so many irresponsible men in society that lack self-control, the fear of God, and discipline. This behavior cuts across societal or social economic standing. Um, whether responsible or not isn't about your income level, education, etc. It's a character deficiency issue. The onus rests heavily on other men in protecting women, whether they're your sister or not. There are also many sexually loose women out there that give me the wrong impression that all women are like that. Dari. This one says, on the topic, I can tell you that most women working on prominent high-paid organizations today gave their bodies before occupying those positions. And what's your statistic? How many of these women have you met and they gave you that information? <laughs> he also goes on to say, um, almost all the business ladies are also into dating their clients, even their suppliers. I can count for you. Give me the statistics, names, and the different businesses, the ones that you've met are they up to 10 or this is just what you think because you've seen one or two women do it? Victor from Ikeja. Give me the information because you see, this is hard facts and you can't just come and say most women do it because you've seen one or two or even five women. But 200 million plus, in fact, plus 200 million because our census till tomorrow, we don't know the leg and the tail of it. But so five women, it's not enough for you to blanketly say that all these women that do business, they sleep with their clients. That's balderdash, sir. Back to the phone lines. Hello. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, please, can I be anonymous? Oh, please. Okay. Uh, it happened to my wife. She's a fashion designer, actually. Okay. So she had this main new client, like very good ones at that. They bring customers and all that. But I realized that uh, the they stopped from, you know, making their clothes to looking for something else. Hmm. So to avoid me and she having issues, I just had to tell her, okay, you know what, wifey? From now on, you will stop making male clothes. Just make female Stick clothes. Stick to the women. <laughs> yes. It was actually a very uh, difficult uh, decision for to avoid issues. You understand what I'm saying? Hmm. So... We just had to stick with that. So she stopped making milk, milk clothes, just to milk clothes. Hmm. So only God will help us. Wow. Thank you very much yeah. for sharing. Uh, but you know, some women, for some people, maybe they only know how to make male clothes. That's their forte. Let's just say, for example. Or maybe all she does is male shoes. How do you stop her from doing that? It means they're going to take away her livelihood. And again, the other side of it is that how can some useless set of men just destroy a woman's livelihood or get her out of business because she's trying to stay safe and stay away? I don't understand it. I'm trying to understand it. Because I know a woman who used to run like a restaurant and had daughters. And half the time she had to fight her clientele because she had beautiful, tall, slender looking daughters that made half of the clientele come there and they were coming because they thought they could get their way with the girls. And she, I mean, literally always had to fight. At some point, she stopped her children from coming there. But you know what happened? You reduced the number of people that came there. But then at least she was sure that the ones who were coming were not coming for the, go for the daughters. But then 
we have this conversation because we want to talk about how we can put an end to this. While you train your daughters to be good wives and good sisters and good mothers, can you take some time out to, to train your sons how to treat women, their mothers, their sisters, and every other woman that they meet? Can we stop to do that? While we try to tell the woman that, oh, this is how you should behave so that you find your husband. This is how you should behave as a man when you meet a woman or you're with a woman. This is how you need to behave so that a woman can even look at you twice. Because the reason why the world is going to hell is that we're paying too much attention on the women. And we forget about our men. And kudos to all the men who fight for their women and try to be on the straight and narrow. God bless you. But it's a daily, daily fight amongst the women folk to stay Book your flight on the Access More app and get 20,000 Naira for shopping. Valid from March the 27th to April the 10th, 2024. Terms and conditions apply. This is an infomercial. Well, Lagos, I've got to go um, because um, after now we're going to bring you the news. But don't forget, on the other side of the clock, we're going to continue our conversation on the energy crisis and the fact that by 300%, tariff has been hiked for those who have, according to the news, more light, more power supply. <laughs> we'll talk about it. My guest is going to be joining us on the 4 o'clock hour. He's an economist. We'll talk about the economical consequences of this price hike in electricity. It's Too Hard Facts, 99.3 Nigeria Info. I'm Mary Anacone. We'll be back on the other side. A show that awakens your passion for travel and exploration. A fresh door to a world of thrilling tours, cultural wonders, excitement, inspiration, and discovery. And discovery. Welcome to Travel and Culture, where the love for travel meets the magic of radio. Join us. 99.3 Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info 99.3. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. 99.3 Nigeria.